This will be fun. It's just you and me this morning. You can come, you can come sit with me. That's cool. So, this, <laughs> it's going to be you and me. We could just turn the mic off and just make them sit there and look at us. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> so, this month we've been talking about difficult passages of scripture. One of the cool things about Jesus is that um, Jesus likes to do things in strange and different ways, in ways that you don't expect. And that's one of the cool things about Jesus. Is he's not worried about what people think about him. He's not worried about what people expect of him. He just wants to do the right thing. And so this morning, and that's what we're that's what I'm going to talk about with all these guys, and you're going to see it in there. But this morning, the question I want you to ask as you go to Mass Church, and the question I want you guys to discuss as you go to Mass Church is this, is in what way can I do the right thing even when it might be strange, or it might be hard to do, or it might be a little bit weird. How can I still do the right thing just like Jesus would? So I'm going to send you out, and that's what you guys are going to go and discuss, and that's what I'm going to discuss in here with these guys, all right? Sounds good. So I thank you all for joining us, continuing to join us throughout this series that we've been doing called It Says What. We're going to bring it to a close this morning. And with the idea being to explore some of these more difficult or stranger passages of Scripture. So today we're going to talk out of John chapter 9 of a story of Jesus that is also a little bit strange. There's a lot of stories of Jesus that are a little bit strange. Jesus, traditionally and typically, as a rabbi, would have done things very by the book. Would have done things very orderly, very religious. Just not who Jesus was. Jesus was always thinking and doing and working outside of the box, outside of the traditional thought, outside of the religious order of the day. Because Jesus' goal was not to satisfy people's expectations. Jesus' goal was not to be the person people thought he ought to be. Jesus' goal was, was simply this. It was to do the will of the Father. That's it. End of story. We're going to pick up here in John chapter 9. It says this. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents, that he was born blind. Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be I am in the world. I am the light of the world. After he said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the And says, no, no, no. 